Well, as the Premier League reaches the midway stage, I thought I'd revisit my predictions that I made way back at the start of the season and the back end of July. Who did I think would win the title? Who did I think would go down? We'll take a little look. Me. <laughs> That's right, folks. Back once again in our prediction video today. We're looking back, way back at the start of the campaign, as to who I thought would be crowned Premier League champions and who I thought would be going down to the Championship. We'll take a look at it, all of it, in a second. A big, big shout out to my VIPs. They are the Patreons. And if you're new, where you been? Smash your subscribe and keep your back and all things Premier League related, Bumper Rose related, World Football related. Here we go, here, boys. Under one Ruski, of course, here we go in a game, in a video I, I predicted way back at the start of July, or back end of July, actually, uh, before a ball had even been kicked in the Premier League. Uh, of course, 4,000 and some of you had watched it. This was actually my second go at it. I made my insanely early ones, but these were, of course, my my composed ones. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to make it big, cheeky, and we're going to replay this uh, video in a double speed here uh, to, um, to kind of revisit what I made way back at the start of the campaign and what we're going to do is actually bring up the table if i if i can get a hold of the producer live uh right here right now i say hey give me the bloody thing the little table it does it pops up just like that and what we're going to do is jump in of course and have a little look at uh what i thought would happen um way back at the start of the season so here we go then of course so this is the league table we've got going on for you right here right now what's what's the state of play and of course what's going to pop up here is the actual league table of my predictions so you can see it as it rolls in we can start in the middle of the pack and work our way down and of course end up uh top on us so into 11 five west ham wow that's a bold bold shout of course they're doing all right they're actually in fifth at the moment but i think i think that could hold true once the likes hang on a minute we need a we need a we need to make it a little bit bigger. That's what she said. Make it a little bit bigger, sweetheart. You know what I mean? You're, you're, you're a little bit too small. What? Me? Never. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I do think, I think 11th is, 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 is probably good for West Ham. They've I just hit a rough patch right now. The likes of Man United, Spurs, Leicester will all get stronger as the season goes on. And the likes of West Ham will need to either sink their teeth in or go home. And again, they're into the, the back end of the Europa League. It's going to be a demanding competition for them. So I just think 11th is probably, it's, it's a bold, it's a bold shout, but I think they might be a little bit, maybe maybe eighth or something like that. I think they're just going to tail off a little bit. And the likes of, of Spurs, United will start to climb the table and put them in a bit more uh, uh, mid-table zone than they are in, 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 uh, in, in those the race for Europe. Uh, so my prediction was 11th. Uh, who did I have into 12th? Because uh, in the real world, it is Brentford. Um, I think I, know, I must have Brentford struggling. I don't think I would have been, been so bold with them to be that high. 12th, I had Wolves. Bruno Langer's boys, of course, coming in here. They're doing all right right now. They've, they've, they're not great to watch. I can imagine. I can, I can relate to that. But uh, they are, they are grinding out results. A lot of, lot of clean sheets. They're doing the, 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 the basic stuff right. They just need some goals. They need a goal machine up there. Jimenez is not ready to score, not really kicked on from, from uh, his recovery and, and, and provided the goal. So, yeah, they're doing all right. I think if they, if they can finish in eighth, they'll take that all day long. Um, but um, I did have them in 12th. I think realistically, that's probably a safe safe bet on my eyes for them to finish in uh, this season. But, uh, we are going to re-predict the, the rest of the campaign, of course, uh, basically start from now and move, move on. Uh, I did have uh, Bernie into 13th begrudgingly. Um, I, I did have them surviving quite comfortably right now it looks like they could go down they do have a couple of games in hand to of course climb up the table but 13 seems around about a bernie-esque kind of position in the table so you know what let's let's we'll we'll, we'll, we'll check on that again in a couple of months time but uh, they could go down southampton also they're in 14th as my pick they're actually in 15th they got adam armstrong they got goals not really not really firing on all cylinders um but they're they're, they're doing all right at the moment so uh they're they're they're, they're not setting the place on fire if they can stay into the 15th or 14th this season, I'm sure they'll be happy with that. I think it's all about survival for them right now because Newcastle have money. Norwich look toast. I still think there's two other teams that could go down and uh, Southampton could be one of those. Brighton of Albion, uh, the current fans are in 13th. They're in 15th was my pick for them. Um, so, you know what? It's not bad. Not a bad shout again. They've, they've, they've uh, started off strongly, looked good at uh, the early couple of months of the season, but things have started to get really, really shitty for them right now. Again, they're still kind of riding across 
of a wave, but I still think for the results and the game, the next back in the season, uh, unless they strengthen a little bit, I don't see where they can strengthen. You know, do they have the money to compete with the likes of Newcastle, for example, to 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 uh, to, to strengthen the team? I don't know. So I think they they could they could get sucked into it. But 15, I think is solid. 60, if I went with Newcastle and again they take that right now. I think this season with again the new Brazilian dollar owners uh, coming in, they just want to survive this season, spend a bit of money in the summer in January and do very very well. 17th, I have Watford. They are currently surviving on the skins of their teeth. Uh, and I hope that they do that as well. They start with Xavi, or whatever his name is. I don't know what the, the, the original coach was. Um, but now they've got the nicest man in football, Ranieri. And what's not nice to what's not like, what is not to like about Ranieri? 17th right now. I do hope they hang on. But um, I think I think they're going to get sucked into this as well. Uh, with the likes of Burnley, Watford, climbing out. What about Brentford? Brentford must be coming up at any, any time now. Um, who else did I have in this? Who else did I have? Oh, I know uh, who I did. Yeah, looks stupid. Stupid, stupid pick coming up very, very soon. Um, Crystal Palace, yes, uh, 18th. I didn't think Vieira. I thought Vieira uh, appointment was a little bit strange. I thought Roy Hodgson, solid. He knows his stuff, knows his sort of thing. I think they would have been fined uh, this season. But uh, Vieira's come in and he's done an absolute treat. Again, he did, he did very well in his first couple of seasons at Nice. Then it all went wrong a little bit. So you've got to ride your, your, your momentum. And of course, right now, he's uh, he's got a good uh, positive vibe going on at Crystal Palace. And uh, I looked a little bit daft as uh, saying that they would go down. So, but uh, I will I will eat my humble... I'm going to eat my humble pie now. I think they'll be safe from relegation big time. And uh, and uh, uh, those that spot is going to be taken up by somebody else. Hopefully Burnley. Uh, but of course, we'll see about that. So into the bottom two, I believe it'll be Norwich and Brentford. But I don't know which order. Uh, that's what I think. And Brentford are doing all right right now, but they do have lost David Raya, goalkeeper. So uh, I think that could that could hurt them in the long term. And Ivan Tony's not really scoring. They're awkward. They're playing where they're playing their their they are playing each and every game like it's their last. They're throwing everything on the on the so they're throwing themselves on the sword. Yeah, that's Brentford I'm talking about. Um, so. Uh, that, they're coming in at 19th. They are in 12th right now. They've had some good results, but this season is not is not um, it's not over in December. It's not over in December. They've got a long way to go without your number one goalkeeper and your and your number one striker not really scoring goals. Uh, I think it's going to be quite hard for Brentford to survive. I think they may end up going down. I don't think 19th. Maybe they'll take up 18th. Uh, but again, we'll re-predict it. I do think Norwich will go down. They've changed their manager from, of course, Farker. Farker's fucked off. Uh, and of course, they brought in um, Dean Smith from Villa. You know, you know, Dean Smith, at, uh, Dean Smith at Villa, you get something out of it. Yeah, I know he has a point to prove with Norwich, and he wants to kind of show, you know what, I'm, I am a decent manager. But he is a Villa fan, so he would have given everything for Villa. Is he going to give 100%? Is he going to give 110% for Norwich? I don't think so. Uh, I do. Th I, I, th I hope he, he sticks around for them. But uh, realistically, I think that I think, you know, he's not going to he's not going to he's not going to save you. He's not going to save you. I think you're going to go down. I think you should have, you know, I know it's the cliche. Go Sam Allardyce. I know we didn't do it with West Brom. He couldn't do it. But you're bringing you're bringing Allardyce now. You've got basically half a season to 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 awkwardly transition your way out of this and, and save your season but uh no you're going down i think so dean smith ain't gonna save you uh so i think that prediction is gonna hold true uh so into the top end we go now in the top 10 and we're gonna move forward uh and i'll look who do i think will be in 10th so so far we're look, looking at maybe everton being in, in or, or, or thereabouts i did I think Ancelotti, I think I made the prediction for Ancelotti to stick around and, and maybe push them forward. Leeds at the tap. They look, they're in trouble. Leeds right now, they are in trouble. Uh, not scoring goals, looking a little bit shit at the back as well. Uh, problems, problems. So that prediction looks a little bit iffy. And, and you can even say second season syndrome for Leeds could bite them in the arse. And they could get sucked into the relegation zone at the moment. Of course, there is a, a, a transfer window up here. And of course, Leeds can be a, a lucrative or an attractive club. So um, I think they'll be all right. Anyway, Arsenal the ninth their course in fourth right now they're looking okay uh, they're looking good against the teams that you'd expect them to be but when it comes up against the teams like a chelsea like a liverpool like a city they roll over and just take one in the ass uh so uh night for arsenal is a little bit uh looks a little bit shit right now they're in that mix for top four so i'd say top six at, at the very worst um so yeah good season i'd say 
you know, it's a good season or is it just uh, a bad Arsenal season? I think it's a good Arsenal season right now. Into eighth, I have Spurs again with Nuno. This was with Nuno in mind. I never thought uh, once they hired Nuno that they would uh, have Conte in charge. I thought Conte had turned his nose at them, was never going to be a look at them. I thought if they had Conte at the start, I'd say top four. For sure, you can you can work in treat. So that eighth looks a little bit okay uh, right now, but I think Conte can get them to closer towards fourth, maybe fifth. But um, it's, it's just such an awkward race to get in that fourth spot right now. Uh, but they're in it; they are definitely in it. And eighth might look a little bit stupid at the end of the season, but um, yeah. And they're out of the Europa League conference bullshit, so they they've got a good chance to focus everything all there. And they've also got the um, the League Cup to to to, to maybe win some silverware so there's a passage for them into Europe that way ever since the 7th I was without Ancelotti in charge they look shit right now and they could also do it likely to get sucked into this if things don't change ever Rafa I thought would have been a great move um, for him but um, it's just not working out is it and I know the Liverpool fans are, are licking their lips the fact that Rafa's dragging them towards the bottom and they are towards the top so it's a strange appointment when you look at it now and go from Ancelotti to Rafa it's not really it's not going to really set the place on fire, um, but um, yeah, so Everton are in trouble. Uh, seventh looks stupid. I don't want to make it even more stupid a prediction at the start of the season, but um, we'll see. Uh, Leicester in sixth. Um, they're in ninth right now, so yeah. They, they've got a hard, they've got a lot of work to do. They've got hard work if they're going to get into six. To be honest with you, uh, just got knocked out of the league cup. Uh, I think they're still in some sort of Europe competition. They might be in the playoff. I don't know, um, but they're still knocking around in some sort of European wilderness. Uh, so I don't think I think six might be it's like Spurs. I don't know. I really don't know. But you can probably scratch everything out of that top six, top eight race there. Um, but uh, I, th I think Leicester, Leicester will be in top eight. I'd give them that. Fifth was Aston Villa. Now, at the start of the season, they looked like they made some fantastic signings. They sold Grealish for a chunk of money. They brought in Leon Bailey. They brought in a lot of other little key players that I thought would uh, would turn them into a, an outside sniff for maybe even a push for top four. Uh, because realistically, the top three are on their own. And they were on their own at the start of the season. And they're on their own on the, uh, this part of the season. So that fourth spot, fourth, fifth, sixth, was wide open. So yes, it does look a little bit daft. And yes, it does. And I'm going to have to eat my humble pie. But they're in temp right now. I think Stevie G will turn them into top eight contenders so it might not be too bad at the end of the campaign right now it does look a little bit bold and a little bit stupid and i think clueless but i still think the quality is there in aston villa especially with the right mentorship right guidership uh and of course stevie g will bring that positive uh atmosphere the the the, the confidence from what he had established at rangers and of course take him into uh, aston villa of course uh, provide a uh, winning team here uh, to four five match tonight they couldn't find themselves in six of course Solskjaer's are gone uh they brought in Ralph Rangnick it's not really it's not for me I'm, I'm looking at the results I'm not really watching every 90 minutes of football for Manchester United but to be honest with you they've not really set the place on fire they got in Ronaldo he is Mr Champions League he does get Champions League sort of um and they're in the Champions League still um, can they win the Champions League? Of course they can win the Champions League. Yes, they can. Can they win the Premier League? No, they cannot. No, they won't win the Premier League this season. I think that race for top four is going to be cutthroat. Um, and right now, they've got a lot of work to do to get back into that race for top four. So I do think that's that's probably where where, where or whereabouts they'll finish uh, into fourth. Uh, best of the rest. So I did have now the top three. Who did I think would win? Who do I think would be second? Who do I think will be third? Coming at you right about now. Uh, Chelsea in third. They currently find themselves in third. Wow, wow, wee wow. So I actually, there was a moment in the season where I thought Chelsea would win this. Um, but right now, they've, they've hit some real rough patches. And of course, they're still competing in the Champions League, as are the top four in my predictions, still in the Champions League race. So well done to them for keeping their, their European season going. Um, but uh, third at the moment for Chelsea. It's a second. I had Liverpool. Wow, I went for Liverpool. I actually felt like uh, I felt like I went with Manchester City, uh, but I think I'm going to go with it. Yeah, looks like Manchester City are going to take the title again. I think I think yeah. This when, when I look back now, Liverpool last season were shit. They were they were ghastly and they were lucky to get top four. This season they're back to their best. However, their best is still not going to be good enough. And I did make that prediction for Manchester City with the assumption that they would take Harry Kane. Uh, the January transfer window will open. They've just about sold Ferran Torres, another goal scoring provider for uh, creator, provider, scorer for them. Are they going to go back in for Harry Kane? Are they going to go for Vlahovic from Fiorentina? Fiorentina have just brought in uh, a 
a guy from Lille, I believe, Jonathan David or whatever his name is, uh, some French guy. Uh, so Vlahovic is probably going to go, and he, I, I feel he's going to go to City. So uh, uh, keep your eyes on that one. And if they do get that goal scoring machine, then of course they will be competing for the Premier League, or of course maintaining their strong start to the to the campaign. That is it, my friends. Where the bloody hell am I? Where the bloody there I am. Of course, be sure to give the video some smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe, check the links down below on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and of course Patreon as well. We're going to re-predict the rest of the season uh, later on today. So of course we're going to. Is it going to be something like what I predicted at the start of the campaign, or is it going to be closer to the money? What it is right here right now of course we'll redo it all of course later on but until then guys that is it smash your thumbs up smash your subscribe see you soon for the next of course whenever that is until then we're done